This is from the Locked On NFL Scouting Podcast, um, where the Browns roster ranks relative to all of the NFL for 2023. Well, they're top 10 roster is what I'm trying to say. Um, but they, they are in a bunch of teams. There are four teams ranked 8th through 11th that are separated, and I wish I was kidding, by .07 points on their wow. total roster value of all their players added up together. So it's a very tightly bunched group of teams and it's AFC playoffs like the Ravens and Chargers are in that same bucket as well. But the Browns, when you think about the addition of Dalvin Tomlinson and you think about the addition of Zadarius Smith and you think about what we're expecting the addition of Elijah Moore is going to be for this football team. Well, for all the discussion around Deshaun Watson and how much he can bounce back, dude, just keep it between the lines. Like th this team really feels like it has put together one of the more talented rosters in the league. I was looking for another word other than talent because that felt like low-hanging fruit, but I couldn't find it. Uh, obviously, they have one of the best offensive lines. You have Nick Chubb with a pathway for more playing time. And with that, let's welcome in Corey Kinnon from brownswire.com. Corey, um, complete would be a good way, I think, was the word he was looking for with the roster. Uh, but I agree with him. A lot of people are talking about Deshaun Watson having to be great. If he's great, they're Super Bowl contenders. He has enough talent. He just has to be above average, you know, of average to above average NFL quarterback, and, and they're a playoff team. Yeah, I think I agree with you there. Uh, again, their chips are in the middle of the table. You don't go out and and bank on Zadarius Smith for one year if you don't think you know you're right there, ready to ready to win. Uh, you don't go out and spend as much money making as many deals uh, aggressively in the trade market as you do if you don't feel like you're ready to win. Uh, but again, we, we've talked about it a lot, I feel like, on the show, but it does come down to Deshaun Watson. So uh, if he looks like Deshaun Watson from the last six weeks, you, you're, you're probably not winning more than seven, eight games. Uh, but if he looks like Deshaun Watson from, from Houston, you're – your Super Bowl contenders, and again, uh, I think I thought Kyle, a colleague, I, I actually uh, we follow each other as a colleague of mine, um, hit it pretty well when he was talking about the the margin of error between seven or eight teams, uh, all with under like one point on on their roster construction. Uh, but but that's really what it comes down to. If you can get to the playoffs, you you can compete with with any team. Uh, it, it, it is it, it's a lottery ticket. So you get that lottery ticket, you're in the playoffs. Anything can happen from there. So. Uh, they at least need to get a lottery ticket this year. Yeah, I agree with you. And, and the margin for errors, it's going to be small. It's going to, it's going to come down to really small things that determine, uh, you know, the sixth, fifth or sixth team in the conference from the ninth or tenth team that's looking into the playoffs.